Live from the Sky News Weather Centre, this is the 10 Minute Briefing. Good morning to you. Thanks so much for joining us here on Sky News Weather. Welcome to your 10 Minute Briefing. It's just gone 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm Rachel Ray. This is our Chief Meteorologist, Tom Saunders. And on the briefing this morning, well, it's the final day of autumn. It's going to be a cold, frosty start to winter for eastern Australia and in the west. We've got a cold front heading your way just in the last hour. Storms have developed across the southwest west capes of WA. Speaking of storms, we saw some storms roll over yesterday, parts of Sydney. Now, this is what it was looking like in Manly. Tom, that's a beautiful photo. You can really see the storm clouds there in the backdrop. Yeah, dark skies yesterday through parts of Sydney. We had briefly some heavy rain, not every suburb. We had up to nine millimetres for the northern suburbs of Sydney. Even some very small hail coming through, nothing too severe. But Sydney has seen its driest autumn in 12 years. We've only had well, just over 100 millimetres of rain for the season, so particularly dry. Now, across southeastern Australia, we've had a front moving through. We've had showers and we've had some alpine snow. It has been heaviest in the Victorian resorts. Great shot there of Mount Hotham this morning, showing a few centimetres of snow settled on the ground. We also saw some uh, showers roll over Melbourne uh, this morning. This is what it was looking like, a bit of a wet start to the day. Probably didn't need a brolly, but most of those showers fell around the far eastern and far southeastern suburbs. Monbol, Frankston, those sort of areas. Cranbourne ended up with 20 millimetres by 9am. Mm, wow, that's a significant amount of falls. It's a good fall. All right, Tom, what else is happening in weather? OK, well, looking at the weather today, we had that front moving through yesterday. This is what the radar looked like. Widespread showers in Melbourne last night. And then it's easing back slowly this morning as a high moves in over southeastern Australia. Just looking at the current radar, there's still some isolated showers around central Victoria and Gippsland, Victoria. But there's not much left in it for Melbourne. That could have been the last of the showers actually for Melbourne just in the last hour. Let's have a look at the forecast rain then. So we are seeing as a high moves in those showers clearing from Tasmania, Victoria. We could have the odd shower skirting the New South Wales coastline today. But Rachel, I guess what we're really watching is those gale force winds through the Tasman Sea indicated by the red arrows. And that's spinning around a deepening low to offshore gales and that means hazardous surf is starting to develop. Now it hasn't developed just yet, but we are expecting by late Thursday, five metre swells along the central New South Wales coastline. And it looks like the swells could even hit six metres for Friday and Saturday. Do be careful if you do have any uh, act activities, pardon me, planned around the New South Wales coast. All right, well, most of Australia is still very dry, Tom. We've seen a few showers over the southeast. We've seen a few showers in parts of Queensland, over the west, but most of it really still remaining very, very dry. Yeah, it's been a dry few months. Canberra's had its driest autumn actually in three months and parts of western New South Wales. Uh, there's barely been any significant rain since January. Here's a shot from Gunnedah. You can see how dry it is. There is no grass left or whatever grass is left has totally cured and become brown. We could have picked any town through western New South Wales and uh, we also have drought conditions developing in far northern Victoria around the Mallee, parts of South Australia. Queensland has been years of drought. Now WA finally got some rain last week. Uh, but over the next week for eastern Australia, this is the forecast rain. Now, from that Tasman low, we could see some moderate falls along the New South Wales coastline. The dark green there indicating 50 millimetres around Port Stephens, the mid-north coast. It's very coastal, though. Once you go west of the Great Dividing Range, it's another week with less than one millimetre of rain. And uh, for the western parts of the country, Tom, I've just seen some storms hit the southwest capes. Uh, showers and storms all expected to move through parts of WA today. Yeah, we've got a burst of showers and storms with the front now. For Perth, they're only a few hours away. It should be hitting by lunch. Could be an early lunch, though. So a quick burst of showers and storms. The heaviest falls will be along the west coast. Now, currently, there is no severe weather warning in force. But here's what's interesting. We do have storms, and one of those storms has just caused a gust of, at Cape Lewin of 94 kilometres per hour. Now, that's strong enough to cause damage. And those storms are heading further north towards some of the more populated areas. So it is possible the Bureau will issue a warning over the next few hours. Mm, OK, we'll keep an eye on that. All right, don't go anywhere. Stay with us. We'll be back in just 60 seconds with some international weather news.